How important is it for your defense to have a couple of mobile quarterbacks to practice against, considering you're going to yeah. face one on Saturday? Yeah, it's very important. You know, we try to emulate the, the opponent as best as possible. Uh, today was our best uh, Wednesday practice we've had in quite a while. And it's a critical one because so much of it is um, today was a culmination of first and second down as well as our third down emphasis. And we, we challenged our guys to go out today and have a great spirited practice. It was a great practice today because of our service team, because we were able to get the demonstration look uh, of Colorado State today at a speed that was similar to what is, we'll see in a game uh, type situation with their plays, both offense and defensive, uh, defensively respectively. So today our most valuable players were our scout teams uh, of Colorado State, both offense and defensively. It's speaking, coach of, speaking of service, uh, uh, Carter Romo announced his uh, retirement. You've talked about his importance. What are, you, what are some of your thoughts about that now? Uh, you know, certainly will be a big blow to, uh, to the University of Texas San Antonio. I'm more than sure he'll have some input in the person that will replace him. I uh, feel very confident that uh, the university will do the things necessary to allow us to continue on the top tier status that Dr. Romo has set forth for us. And, uh, you know, personally for me, he's the president that gave me an opportunity to hire me, so he's near and dear to my heart. Uh, I have not had a chance to visit with him now yet, uh, but looking forward to it. But uh, I trust in our university will we'll do the right thing. He seemed like he was excited, as excited Saturday night as you were. Yeah, that's my man. Uh, <laughs> you know, the interesting thing, the funny thing is uh, when uh, when I decided, when I accepted the job, they offered the job and I accepted it, you know, we were, we had this big confidentiality deal where we are going to wait till the press conference, and he tweets it out the same night. <laughs> Stop! What are you doing? <laughs> no, nah, but uh, I love him. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Talk about your uh, health going into the into this game on Saturday. It looked like Jarvion with no pads today. What's his status going in? Yeah, uh, he he moved about. We we didn't put him in pads, but he did some things and in individual and one on one and with the trainers off to the side. Uh, just didn't want to risk someone rolling up on him in, in a contact accidental or not. And so tomorrow he'll be in pads and uh, we'll give him a shot to see how it goes. But he looks he looks fine today. I think he'll be able to play. I saw Javante on the sideline, kind of coughing. Got a cold or what? I don't know. You all right? <laughs> is, is Coach Bobo a guy you can look up to? He comes from the SEC, takes over a team, leads him to a bowl game his first year. Um, he's a guy that I respect, yeah. Yeah, I respect him. I think he's done a really good job uh, over the years and, and has done so far at Colorado State as well. Somebody, the, the growth, the growth of, of uh, Dalton Stern. I know you talk about it mm -hmm. every week, but what, does, does he continue to just grow every day? He comes out here every workout, just yeah. embracing that challenge and stuff. Yeah, his leadership continues to uh, to grow. Uh, his command uh, in the huddle, as well as on the field. You know, you always want that coach on the field that can bark it out. And so many times as a coach, you, we can yell it, but I mean, they got to play. Coach is going to coach. Player is going to play. And so to have that guy in the huddle, and then to take the field as the ball is being moved down the field. Um, to be that extension of, of, of the coach is certainly something that uh, that we like in him, and, and he's doing that. And so he continues to grow each day. Coach, it's interesting the other day you mentioned uh, you know, uh, similarities between Dalton and uh, the situation with uh, uh, the young man over at Southern Miss that you, mm -hmm. you coached for one year, I guess, yeah, Austin yeah. Davis. Right. Uh, what, what was it that, that, that about uh, about those two that uh, that prompted that comparison? Uh, yeah, and Davis went on and had a heck of a career, obviously. Yeah, and continues to do so. Uh, yeah. They're both very athletic. I mean, we go in the gym and play basketball, and you know, it'd be hard pressed to say if Dalton Sturm don't win our slam dunk contest. Uh, I mean, he's a tremendous athlete, and, and Austin was the same way. So I think the comparison, their competitive nature, and their athleticism. Mm -hmm. Coach, are you expecting to use Jared at all on, on Saturday? Yeah, we'll, we'll see how the game unfolds. Uh, it's a little early in the week. We haven't made that final decision yet, but we're preparing him to be used or uh, at any time we call upon him. The, some of the players talked about revenge for, for last season's loss to Colorado. Is that something that you guys might use? Uh, no. No, we have not talked about that uh, and haven't spent much time on, on the factor of what happened last year. We're, we're about uh, the performance uh, that we did a week ago, examining it, growing from it, looking at them against uh, the University of Colorado and, and how they've progressed and how they finished the year last year. Are you familiar with Fonte, their quarterback? Uh, I am not. I mean, I know who he is, and he's a transfer from, from Georgia, but I have not seen enough of him uh, to, to know a lot about him.